We're going to turn now to Black History Month. Our friend and colleague, Good Morning America anchor Robin Roberts, has partnered with the History Channel to bring you a new one hour documentary called Tuskegee Airmen Legacy of Cour yes. Courage. 80 years ago, the nation's very first class of black fighter pilots began their training at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. Their sacrifice and historic achievements inspired great change that ultimately led to the desegregation of the U.S. Armed Forces. And this documentary explores all the struggles and all the triumphs of these men, and it is a very personal project for Robin. Her father, Colonel Lawrence E. Roberts, was a Tuskegee Airman. And we now have not one, but two special <laughs> sneak peeks. Take a look at the first. The strength of a tree is not its branches, but its root. And sometimes we celebrate branches and don't celebrate the root. Tuskegee Airmen was the root of making this country respect black excellence. In the summer of 1941, the nation's very first class of African-American fighter pilots began training at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. Their sacrifice and their historic achievements would inspire great change in the military and at home. Those are the men that sacrificed to be able to give and went through the grievances that they went through to be able to provide a safe haven for us that we're still fighting for now, which is crazy, right? Because we still share that DNA and that same fighting rolling through us. I'm proud to say that one of the airmen was my beloved father. Their story is of a group of great leaders. Um, and again, their sacrifice is one that I'm not sure you can fully understand the depth of where we are today without looking back at where they started and how their story ended. Uh, for the special, we actually get to hear, these are interviews, firsthand accounts from two of the Tuskegee Airmen and interviews they did just for this documentary. Take a look at this now. During that period of time, the washout or failure rate for white cadets was running at 63%. The first class that went through Tuskegee, the washout rate was 40%. And they says, no, 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 no. This will never happen again. So made, they made sure they had a washout rate of 73% or higher, 10% higher than the white cadets. That's why we only graduated 996. We were really fighting something that had been started back when the Army War College did a study in 1925 claiming that physically we were qualified to serve our country, mentally, morally, and otherwise inferior uh, to the white man, therefore no service in a technical area such as maintaining flying airplane would even be possible. Flying training program was designed for our failure. They didn't want any black pilots, period. General Hap Arnold didn't want any blacks in his white Air Force. So everything was against us. We had to go through a lot, a lot of injustices. We lost a lot of good pilots. By March 1941, the Tuskegee program faced financial trouble. Help came from First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. She traveled to Tuskegee and flew with instructor Charles Alfred Anderson. It was quite a deal because the person she flew with was Charles Alfred Anderson. He became the chief instructor for us. Then, in early 1941, the 99th Pursuit Squadron was established. One day, this squadron will become part of the unit known as the Tuskegee Airmen. My father, Colonel Lawrence E. Roberts, would be one of them. He would one day tell me he'd never known such freedom as a black man as he felt flying a plane. Wow. And, you know, we were talking about it earlier today, Robin and me, and you could, she, you know, gets emotional because there is so much pride, because there was so much sacrifice mm. that these men went through. And it is incredible to watch this and to hear from these pilots themselves. One of them said, as you just heard, that the program was specifically designed for their failure. But you know what? They exceeded all expectations, and now they have a very special seat in history. And she speaks with such pride she about does. it still. And again, we see kind of a, an end result, and we talk about history, but there was so much pain and what they had to go through to get to that point. So we, we all owe them um, a debt of gratitude.
for, yes. for what they did. And, and we owe it to them to learn about mm -hmm. what they went through. And you can do that by watching this full one hour documentary special, executive produced and narrated by our Robin Roberts. Tune into the History Channel tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.